The woman convicted in one of Cincinnati's most notorious murder cases is up for parole tomorrow. Police say Linda Couch shot her husband in the head and tricked her children into helping bury his body behind their Price Hill home. And, and right now at 11, WCPO 9 News reporter Kristen Swilly shares how Couch's daughter, a former police chief and a psychologist, are all reacting to the prospect of her being released from prison. It was difficult at first to do it because, you know, I'm telling strangers my, you know, what happened. It has been nearly 37 years since what happened here permanently shaped Roxanne Wagner's life. But after decades of silence and with thousands of miles now separating her from her mother, Wagner is sharing her story on her own terms. People hear her version or they see clips of her in the courtroom, but they don't see the after effects that it has on everybody else. Wagner spoke to Netflix when they profiled Couch for their series, I Am a Killer. The case became well known in part because Couch allegedly tricked her children and father-in-law into digging the hole for her husband's body. A key part of the story she has since denied. I want people to know, if anything, if anything, she's not the victim in all of this. Former police chief Tom Stryker was one of the first officers to arrive at the home on West 8th Street that day. But it was some type of unknown trouble. It was obvious there was a, a pretty high degree of urgency, a high sense of urgency when that came out. A District 3 patrolman at the time, he says he'll never forget the moment Couch admitted what happened. She eventually says to me, she says, I know he's dead. She says, I shot him, you know, and I said, it doesn't matter. I said, he could still be alive, you know, let us get somebody here. And, uh, and I said, do you know where he is? And she goes, yes, I know where he is. And I said, where is he? And she says, you're standing on him. Psychologist Stuart Bassman says the case likely scarred those directly involved. It was startling. And the community around it. There is a sense that we all want to believe we're safe. But to a great extent, when a crime like this occurs in our hometown, in our community, it's a wake up call. Even though I feel safe where I am, I still look over my shoulder. It is that inescapable feeling and inconsistencies in Couch's story that make Wagner believe her mother should never be freed. If the parole board is watching or something, I hope they hear this. Um, and I hope they deny her. Couch is currently serving a life sentence at the State Reformatory for Women in Marysville, Ohio. In Price Hill, Kristen Swilly, WCPO, 9 News.